hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be showing you how i created this super cute nail design using model one's poly gel so model one's was kind enough to send me these two poly gel nail kit to show you guys what it's like and here is the first kit and this is called sexy mix so in this kit you will get poly nail gel kit instruction manual Next, you will get six different pots of fine glitters, a box of different color nail gems, a dried flowers, different sizes jewel forms, a few paper forms, some nail strips, a tweezer, a hundred and hundred and eighty grit file, a base coat a top coat, a 15 ml slip solution, a jewel ended brush, and three 15 grams poly gel. And here is the close-up look of the poly gel. And I like that it's sealed so none of the products come out. So here are the shades looks like. So this one is the shade light pink. Next is in the shade pure white. And lastly, the shade clear. And here are the shades next to each other. Moving on to the Model 1's mini poly nail gel kit. So first thing I notice is the packaging is super cute. And when you open it up, this is what you get in the packet. First is a Model 1's top coat, Model 1's base coat. Again, you will also get in this kit a different sizes jewel forms, a brush, a mini nail file, and I believe this is the standard 100 and 180 grit file, a slip solution, and for 15 grams poly gel. And you will also get instruction in this kit. So here is the close-up look of the tube. So again, when you open it up, it's sealed, so none of the products come out. So here is the close-up look of the shades. So the first one is in the shade color changing. Next is in the shade Pure White. Next is Soft Pink. And lastly, Light Apricot. And here are the shades next to each other. So for today's video, I will be using the Model 1's Soft Pink and Sexy Mix Clear. And also, I will be using some dried flowers the slip solution, the base coat, and also the top coat. So to start off, I will be applying nail dehydrator on my nail. This will just remove the natural oil on my nail. So then next, I apply UNT Peel of Base for easy pop of removal of my manicure. Next, I move on to the base coat and I apply a thin layer of this on my nail and cure it for 30 seconds. So now, moving on to the poly gel application. And what I do is I squeeze a small bead of poly gel on my spatula. And then I apply it on my nail. And then I just dip my brush to my slip solution and then spread the poly gel evenly on my nail. And I just want to quickly mention that this is my first time using poly gel on my nails. So I was a little bit worried to do this but it's actually not as hard as I thought it's gonna be. So the poly gel spread quite easily on my nail but every time I notice that the poly gel start to stick on my brush, I just dip my brush into the slip solution. So with my first impression with this product, I think it's pretty good and it's quite easily to use. And I think it's a beginner friendly product. So 
so once I'm happy with my poly gel application I move on to my dried flowers and I just apply it randomly on top of my poly gel So once I'm happy with the placement of my flowers, so I went ahead and cure my nail for 30 seconds. So once my nail is cured, I move on to my clear poly gel and I squeeze one bead of clear on my brush and apply it on my nail. By doing this, it will protect my nail design from filing and buffing. So once I'm happy with the clear application, again I cure my nail for one full minute. So here is what my nail looks like once it's cured. So now I'm just gonna clean my nail with alcohol just to remove the tacky layer. So next I move on to my filing and buffing. So once I'm finished with my filing, again I clean my nail with alcohol spray. Next, I move on to my Model 1 Stop Coat and I apply two coats of this on my nail and cure it for 30 seconds. And here is the nail design that I was able to create using Model 1's Poly Gel Nail Kit. And I think that the kit is super easy to use and also they're definitely beginner friendly kit. And if you are interested with their product, I will be putting Model 1's website down in the description box below as well as the products that I use today. So that's it guys for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you on my next one.